There are nine roles whose duties are explained in the official manual. What we cover now is definitive and important for the exam, but it isn't yet complete. It's enough for now so that we may appreciate each role's participation in our conversations. The detailed responsibilities and actions of each role will be covered when we get to the organisation theme. The official manual says the project board is accountable to corporate or programme management for the success of the project and has the authority to direct the project within the remit set by corporate and programme management and documented in the project mandate. The project board is responsible for communication between the project management team and stakeholders like corporate and programme management who are external to that team. The project board is made up of three individual roles. The executive is ultimately responsible for the project. Supported by the senior user and the senior supplier, the executive's role is to ensure that the project is focused throughout its life on achieving its objectives and delivering a product that will achieve the forecast benefits. The executive has to ensure that the project gives value for money, ensuring a cost conscious approach to the project that balances the demands of the business, the users and the suppliers. Throughout the project, the executive is responsible for the business case. And the manual says in bold, perhaps the only time it uses bold, the project board is not a democracy controlled by votes. The executive is the ultimate decision maker and is supported in the decision making by the senior user and senior supplier. There is only one vote on the project board, the executives. The senior user, or perhaps senior users, is or are responsible for specifying the needs of those who will use the project's products, for liaison with the project management team and for monitoring that the solution will meet the needs within the constraints of the business case in terms of quality, functionality and ease of use. The role represents the interests of all those who will use the project's products, including operations and maintenance. Those for whom the products will achieve an objective or those who will use the products to deliver the benefits. The senior user role commits user resources and monitors of products against requirements. The role may require more than one person to cover all user interests, but to be effective should not be split between too many people. The senior users specify the benefits and are eventually held to account by demonstrating to corporate or program management that the forecast benefits, which were the basis for the project's approval, have actually been realised, a duty likely to require a commitment beyond the end of the project. The senior supplier represents the interests of those designing, developing, facilitating, procuring and implementing the project's products. The role is accountable for the quality of products delivered by its suppliers and is responsible for the technical integrity of the project's products. If necessary, more than one person may be required to represent the suppliers. Depending on the particular customer supplier environment, for example under a contract, rather than an internal department, the customer may also wish to appoint an independent person or group to carry out assurance on the supplier's products, for example to verify liability for staged payments. The project board member's accountability for specifying and overseeing may be beyond their technical skills or their available time. Typically, project board members may delegate some or all of their project assurance tasks to individuals with the required time and skill. The project board may also delegate some or all decisions regarding changes to a change authority based on the scale, complexity, importance and risk of the project, project board members expertise and available time. Typically partial responsibility is delegated to a change board, for example for changes under some defined cost or time impact. A change board may comprise project assurance and or the project manager. The project manager has the authority to run the project on a day-to-day -day basis on behalf of the project board within the constraints laid down by them. The constraints are expressed by the six forms of tolerance, time, cost, scope, risk, quality and benefits. The project manager's prime responsibility is to ensure that the project produces the required products within the tolerances. 
the project manager is also responsible for the project producing a result capable of achieving the benefits defined in the business case. If not delegated to a separate person or function, project support is provided by the project manager. Support role includes maintaining project files, document control and configuration management, collecting performance data, updating plans and making forecasts. Administering project board meetings, quality reviews and quality records, as well as providing expertise in planning and control tools or risk analysis tools and techniques. The team manager's responsibility is to ensure production of products allocated to them by the project manager to an appropriate quality in an agreed and set timescale and at a cost acceptable to the project board. The team manager role reports to and takes direction from the project manager. The PRINCE2 project's heartbeat runs according to the pattern of activities described in the seven processes. Those activities are designed to ensure that the project maintains a focus on the seven themes that healthy projects perform well and are described in our next two videos.